and welcome back. Just for Success is a not-for-profit organization that is global, empowering women to achieve economic independence by providing a network of support, professional attire, and the developmental tools needed to help women thrive and work in life. Since starting the operation in 1997, Dress for Success has expanded to almost 150 cities in 25 countries, helping more than 1.2 million women work towards self-sufficiency. Joining us now and providing more information, we are pleased to be joined by the Senior Director of Program Operations at Dress for Success, Natalie A. Borneo. And uh, we thank you so much, Natalie, for being here with us. You're welcome, Dan. Pleasure to be here today. We are excited to share as much as we can about Dress for Success. Well, you guys have really done it. And as I talked about the amount of people that you have, have actually had the impact on, uh, give us a little bit about the work that Dress for Success is doing currently. Uh, you can imagine that in this climate, Dress for Success has really hit the nail on the head by continuing to be a tremendous resource to women who need a network uh, critical for them, for their personal and professional development. Um, we're just amazed at the women who have stayed close to our organization and others who have joined us as they found themselves in very unfamiliar spaces because of this pandemic. Uh, many of the women we serve are working in spaces that are called the front line, right? So they are teachers, they are retail workers, they are food service providers, they're cleaners, they work in hospitality, um, they are mothers, they are caregivers. Uh, and that's, this perfect storm of the pandemic has either found them um, displaced from their jobs on furlough, voluntarily leaving their jobs because they're not able to manage the demands of work and now homeschooling and caring for elder parents. Uh, so through our Dress for Success network, we have been able to provide ongoing support for women virtually. We have a number of professional workshops where we are able to bring female leaders, uh, male leaders, all contributors and mentors, helping women to find their, their footing with professional courses uh, that will help them build their networking skills with those skills that they need to perfect and manage virtual interviews now in lieu of in-person, uh, or just really understanding how to navigate the world of work from where they're sitting in their homes um, and giving them hope by allowing them to also connect with other women. You know, the beauty of this virtual uh, world that we find ourselves in is the elimination of geographic barriers, right? So as long as a woman can uh, access the internet, as long as she has a device, whether it be a tablet, a phone, a computer, she has found a way to participate in a community that is supporting her they are also supporting each other. These women are incredible. Um, mm -hmm. They find a way to help one another, uh, even when they are not doing well themselves. So we just- Talk to me, I, I, didn't mean to cut, I just want to cut in and ask a question because when you talk about not doing well themselves, I wanted to ask about those challenges, right? What are some of the more common challenges that maybe we're not so familiar with that women are wrestling with and dealing with, particularly in a time like this? Well, you know, when we talk about the frontline worker, some of those jobs realistically are not coming back, right? A lot of organizations have found that uh, during this pandemic time, they're actually able to conduct business virtually. So they no longer need that robust staff on site, um, whether they be receptionists or administrative workers, um, you know, anyone in that role that made an office dynamic work in person has found themselves displaced. So now the thought is, where do I go from here? Um, how do I upskill? Um, how do I network virtually when I can't see people? I can't attend events in person. How do I stand out? How do I feel confident enough 
to reach out to someone on LinkedIn and approach them about opportunities. We are providing that in the community that we have. Um, we are seeing women become more confident, more adept at navigating through virtual means. They are still meeting with coaches who are volunteers like you and me, uh, helping them with fixing their resumes to really talk about their accomplishments, the transferable skills, which are very important, um, and why they should be considered for opportunities. They're also building up their LinkedIn profiles and making decisions around appropriate upskilling options, right? Not just randomly going out and taking every online class, but planning their strategy for their career direction and change. Talk to me about volunteers, because I know a lot of the work that you do does center with volunteers. Um, so how can a person be engaged as a volunteer for the work for success and, and the work that's going on? Absolutely. So uh, as I mentioned, this mentoring opportunity for women occurs virtually. And we are really grateful to see a number of professionals reach out to say, hey, I think I would love to be able to coach a woman one-to-one -to, -one, to help her with her questions around interview prep, uh, to help her with mock interviews, um, to help her with figuring out how to present herself on camera, um, select the best attire for an interview. So people can volunteer by reaching out to their local Dress for Success affiliate. And thank you so much for talking about where we are. Um, and asking for or inquiring about opportunities to be uh, virtual coaches or mentors who follow women for a bit and really help them make sure that they land the opportunity. And when they do, uh, help them with questions they may have in terms of being more successful in new work environments. We also enjoy having professionals provide workshop content. So being the curators and developers of meaningful workshops that help women with understanding their choices, their strengths, their strategies. Um, we are really excited to be able to provide these workshops with the help of our volunteers. And so we have individuals who do this for us, who may be career coaches or uh, leaders who have taught internally in their organizations, or organizations, corporate sponsors stepping forward to say, we have internal resources that we would like to make your own. We'd love to volunteer. So if they just reach out to our affiliates uh, and express their desire to help, we welcome that. Yeah, and lastly, how can people uh, donate? Because we know that a lot of the work that you do uh, in improving the lives of women does rely on donations as well as volunteerism, but I did not get a chance to talk about donations. So very quickly before we go, how can somebody donate and what would you be looking for donations for? Uh, we are always looking for that crisp attire, professional attire for women. It's most helpful to have um, clothing that has is ready to wear, ready to donate. So it's cleaned and it's ready to go. Um, we're, we're building ourselves back up in terms of accepting donations, but each Dress for Success location has a plan that works for them to be able to safely accept donations, again, of professional attire that's ready to wear, accessories that are helpful to women, uh, even you know necklaces, uh, pocketbooks that are new or gently worn, uh, for the women who are still going out, uh, shoes, uh, but most definitely we urge um, anyone who has this professional attire and would like to support a woman by giving her that um, fresh look to reach out to their local affiliates and find out what the arrangement is for donating attire. Well, we want to thank you so much for being with us and sharing with us here today and certainly glad to have you the great work that's going on and i hope i hope that we'll be able to see more volunteers and more women empowered because that's ultimately what we want to see natalie thank you so much for being with us oh it's been my pleasure thank you for having us today
All righty. And if you want more information, of course, we encourage you to go to their website. That's where you can get the information. Stay with us. We've got more open coming up. We're coming right back right after this.